Kentucky officially has a new governor. Republican Matt Bevin took the oath of office at midnight. Bevin was sworn in during a private ceremony at the Capitol in Frankfurt, becoming the 62nd governor of the Commonwealth. And he's just the third Republican elected since 1945. Bevin now assumes the office formally held by Democrat Steve Bashir. It is a tremendous honor to be chosen to be the tip of the spear for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. It really is. I would challenge each of you, please, in the days, the weeks, and the months ahead, continue to be as excited as you are now, as bold as you are now. Pray as hard as you have prayed to this point. We need your prayers. The Commonwealth needs your prayers. Evan says he plans to reform the state's health care system by ending Connect and reversing the expansion of Medicaid. He also intends to repeal Common Core education standards and seek passage of right to work legislation. And this morning, there will be a public event to celebrate Governor Bevin's inauguration. And it's all happening in Frankfurt. And that's where we find WLKY's Erica Coghill live with the details. Erica? Good morning to you, Monica and Jennifer. There is a full slate of inaugural events planned for today. Matt Bevin's public inauguration ceremony is just hours away. That public swearing in ceremony will be held on the Capitol steps at 2 o'clock this afternoon. But everything gets kicked off this morning with a worship service at 8 o'clock. That inaugural service is typically held at a church, but officials tell us they're expecting such a large crowd, they've moved that service to the Frankfurt Convention Center. A parade will be held along Capitol Avenue at 10 o'clock this morning. Veterans as well as fallen Kentucky officers and first responders will be honored at that parade. An ambulance from the Jessamine County EMS will be included in the parade to honor paramedic John Mackey, who lost his life earlier this month when a car hit him while at work. Later today at 4 o'clock, a welcome party will get, will get underway, followed by a grand march at the Capitol Rotunda at 7 o'clock tonight. Now, we will have crews out here for the rest of the day, keeping you updated on all of those events. So stick with us on WLKY and follow us on our mobile app for more information. Reporting live this morning, I'm Erica Coghill, WLKY News. All right, thank you, Erica. And before